This week we've been giving you an inside look at USS Gerald R. Ford for the first time since the pandemic. Tonight, Alex Littlehale shows us what exactly will set the ship apart once it's combat ready. Every takeoff aboard USS Gerald R. Ford is the sound of the Navy's new path forward. This is, a, this is going to be a Ford strike group, not a Nimitz strike group. And certainly all of us have experience operating a Nimitz strike group. Every day, its crew works towards not only becoming a fully deployed combat carrier, but being one of a kind. Because it's a new development ship, are simply just to test and try those new systems and those new technologies. After years and billions of dollars worth of investment, the carrier's commanding leadership says when it's finally ready, it will be far different from its predecessors, Nimitz class carriers. Double the, uh, the size of Nimitz capacity for cooling, and we have triple the amount of power available to pair Nimitz class. So that's a good thing, and the ship, again, provides incredible flexibility. For commanding officer Captain J.J. Cummings, the ship's weapons storage and power capacity are some of the biggest changes. They really like the layout. It's much more efficient and ergonomic in the design. Uh, than on this ship than on the Nimitz class. Military officials say the ship's command center and mission planning bays are also different. Rear Admiral Craig Clapperton says the payoff will be a more cost effective operation. And do it at less cost per year, and that's very much true. A significant reduction in manpower, going to save uh, tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars per year. A plus for a ship with an estimated price tag of nearly $13 billion. To be more agile, to be more efficient, and it's going to enable the carrier strike group in its entirety to be more lethal. Reporting, Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now.